Hi everyone, Mike here from Comp3 Interactive. Welcome back to the channel. Today I've got something really simple for you, but it actually looks really good in 2D side-scroller games. That is an infinite scrolling background. And it's really simple to implement. Before we start, I'd just like to thank Gigatank3000 for sponsoring this video. The links are down in the description. Go give them a follow on Twitter and check out the website for more information. So I'll just show you the image that I'm going to be using. And it's going to be this one. Nice little beach scene that I stole from Google. And what we want, we want this to scroll from right to left indefinitely. Now this is a looping texture, meaning if we were to put this image on this side, it would perfectly and seamlessly carry on. But we're not actually going to be doing this on the sprite, so we can get rid of that. The way that we're going to do it, we're going to create a 3D object, and that's going to be a plane. Now don't worry, I know it's a 2D game, but we can have 3D objects inside it. And we'll reset that plane to be 0, and then we need to rotate it to face our camera. So that'll be 90 on the X, and then negative 180 on the Y. And then we can just go ahead and drag in our background image onto our plane. And you see, two problems. It's really dark, and it's a little bit stretched. Well, let's tackle the darkness first. The reason it's gone dark is because it's on a 3D object. Now, 3D objects are reliant on light to render correctly, but we don't want this to be affected by light. So, down here, in our background shader options, instead of it being set to standard, we'll set this to unlit texture. Bang, we get our colors back. And while we're down here, we also don't need the mesh collider, and we don't want this panel to be casting shadows or receiving shadows. We can disable both of these. Next, we'll just scale this up so it fills our entire scene, and we'll make sure that the scaling looks natural. And there we go. Next, because we want this looping, we're going to want to set a background texture wrap mode from clamp to repeat. Now, if we didn't, clamp will just stretch out the last row of pixels and it would look ugly as hell. Now, with it being set to repeat, it'll just loop over like we want it to. So now we have our plane set up, we have our background image set up. The last thing we need is our script. We'll just call this background scroller and we'll open it up. Now for once we're actually going to be using our start and update methods, but we won't be using our two system namespaces. So we're going to start by adding in a public float and that's going to be a scroll speed. And by default we'll give that a value of 0.5. What we can do, we can just dress this up a little bit, make it a bit more user friendly, and we'll add in the range attribute above it. And what's good about doing the range attribute is we can limit it from negative 1 and positive 1. So if we go into a negative value, this will start scrolling our background in the opposite direction, which we'll see in just a minute. Next, we're going to need two more variables, both private. They're going to be a private float offset and a private material mat. So first things first, we want to grab our material before we do anything else, because if we don't, we'll end up getting some errors. So we'll just set mat equal to get component renderer dot material, and we'll grab that in our start method so we've got it and we know material's populated. Next in our update, we need to calculate our offset, which is the amount of pixels outside of its original design that we want to display the image. Now that may not make sense, I don't think it makes sense, but it'll make sense when you see what I mean. So we can set offset plus equal to time dot delta time times by our scroll speed, and then we'll just divide that by 10 so we don't get a ridiculously fast scrolling speed. And finally, We'll use a material mat dot set texture offset. And now we need to pass in our texture's name. Now by default, every texture has a main text. So as a string, we'll put in underscore K 
capital M main capital T text and we'll set that to a new vector 2 offset on our X and 0 on the Y and it's just that simple so we jump back over into unity select our plane and drag our background scrollers on there play the game we should see this working immediately and we do and if we increase our scroll speed we see we scroll a lot faster if we go into a negative we start scrolling the opposite direction and what's good about using this is we can get that parallax scrolling effect so where certain objects are scrolling faster than others to give that fake sense of depth so to show you what I mean by that if we just go ahead and we create a new plane set that to zero again and 90 minus 180 set it up exactly as we did before by removing the collider and disabling shadows now if we drag this second texture that I've got down here grass onto it and then this time just to show you what this is doing if I pop over into a 3d mode and pull this out a little bit we can see again we have that stretching effect and it's gone really dark but this time we're using a PNG image so we want some transparency in it so this time for our shader texture we'll select unlit transparent cutout and as you can see we can see behind where we'd expect and we've got our grass down at the bottom here so now it's just a case of scaling this out again like so and we'll make sure that our wrap mode is set to repeat finally we'll drag our background scroller onto our new grass object and our plane our background is scrolling at 0.5 so if we scroll our grass at 0.2 you'll see the effect that we get in just a second and there you have it and you can do this for as many objects as you like. So it's been short, but uh, I hope you've learned something today. And I hope you see that this can actually make your game look a little bit nicer. I'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more bites as Unity hints and tips.